What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Coin Store Hall. And it's going to be the last episode for a little while actually because I found out today while I was at the Antique and Collectible Fair that they're not actually open now again until the 30th of January which is a big disappointment for me. Um, I might be able to go a little bit further afield. I know a coin shop not too far away. Maybe we can do a couple of episodes from there in the meantime. Today we've got a few coins to have a look through. Only nine coins but we've also got a stack of notes there we've got for a bit of a bargain but we'll do those at the end i know most of you guys are here for coins excuse the snoring puppy if you can hear him not sure if you can hear him uh, but to kick us off we have a silver proof here from barbados and the case on this is really battered where it's been somehow rolling around in his um i bet you can hear him he's really going for it now or has been rolling around in his bargain bin. And this is in his five pound bargain bin. <laughs> and it's a, it's a silver proof from Barbados, 1994. And look at the finish on that. It's such a shame though. Can you see those blemishes near the one? Definitely something on the coin there. I haven't tried to touch it at all. I don't want to damage it anymore. We'll flip it over and have a look at the other side. And on the other side, we have the Queen Mother. I must admit, I, I don't know what it's exactly commemorating about the Queen Mother, because it's a 1994 coin. She was born in 1990. She was, she was 94 years old. I mean, it's not a particularly special birthday. Um, maybe I'm only saying that because she went on for a, quite a bit longer, but yeah, lovely coin, I think. And only uh, 50,000 mintage of that. It's only 50% silver, but 50,000 of those minted. And that's our 31st coin from Barbados. But you're going to see more all about my coins from Barbados if you're watching the new series where I'm going through my world coin collection from A to B. We've only done one episode so far, and that was A. B's taken me a little while to do all the prep work for, if I'm honest, um, but it's it's nearly with us. So we'll be seeing all the Barbados coins soon. Barbadian? I don't know, what's the correct terminology for that? Our next pickup is only just a cheap one here. I think he had two quid on this. Um, which I didn't pay two quid. I'll let you know how much I paid for all of it in the end. He did give me a bit off. It's a Christmas present as well. And this is just to fill a gap in the date run, really, 1889. Um, starting to fill in some of these late 19th century pennies. So, yeah, grab that. Now, the next one I really, really like, and I think this probably near enough pays for... It pays for everything here, I think. Not the notes, perhaps. But it's this awesome five pound coin with this brilliant design on it. Can you see that? And this is a Gibraltar coin. Again, we're gonna go with not knowing what the correct um, word is. Is it Gibraltar, Gibraltarian? I always get it wrong. Apologies to any Gibraltarian Ians, especially if your name's Ian. But this is so cool. I love this. And this was a fiver. I could not believe it. So I looked it up, and these go for easily 12, 13 quid plus on eBay. So I snapped it up. And it's obviously commemorating 50 years since D Day. And it's made of Verinium as well which is our first Verinium coin into the collection, which is apparently a man-made precious metal, but really it's just an alloy of copper, nickel and zinc. But it's a very cool colour and, yeah, I just love that. Next up, they're, they're the three main pickups, if I'm honest. The next six are from the bargain bin. But these are a bit of variety from around the world and filling in the collection a little. And this is one I've spoken about before, what that I wanted. It's the first time I've seen it there. 
And this is a 1969 20 cents from Singapore. It's an awesome one with a swordfish on it. Now we've nearly got all the denominations, the small change from this uh, this set, as it were. But is there anything you notice about the design on this coin? And is it any similar designs around the world to it? And I thought that that Australian duckbill platypus is so similar to this, the, just the water effect. So I had a look, and they are actually engraved by the same person. Um, and that's Stuart Devlin. So yeah, you can see it, can't you? You can see the similarities there. Obviously the animal's a different animal, but the water is very similar. But yeah, that's, that was an awesome pickup to get that. Um, an 8.4 million of those. It's quite a high mintage, but we love an animal coin. And here is another animal coin. It's got the brown bear on this one. It's from Finland, as it says there. And this is a 1990-50 Penia. High mintage figure on this one though, 70 million, 459,000. Next up, we got Trinidad and Tobago. We do already have this coin, but I think I had it before I started doing the videos. So I thought I'd pick up a different date when I saw it there, show you guys, because it is a lovely design. And on there we have the Greater Bird of Paradise. This is a five cents Trinidad and Tobago, 1995. Love that. That's our three animal coins. Gets a little bit more boring now, so we'll just rattle through these quickly. Picked up another Jamaican coin, 25 cents, 1993. And just our ninth different Jamaican coin for the collection. So I do tend to pick them up when I see them in the bargain bin. I mean, they cost me 33p each, or 34p each, if you want to round it up. Um, but yeah, I'll Gladly add those to the collection. These are probably overpaying for paying 33p each, but they're just different metals and ones I didn't have. And the one on the left here is the one foreign from Hungary, and that's aluminium. So I don't know, I just have a thing about these different metals. And then on the right, we've got a zinc, two ore from Denmark, 1971. So yeah, a bit more plain on those. With the Hungarian foreign though, that's our first um, one from communist Hungary. All the other 30 Hungarian coins I've got are all more modern, um, post-1990. So yeah, there's our coin pickups. If you're not interested in notes, see you later. You might as well head off now, unless you want to, if you're intrigued. Um, but I also picked up these pile of notes. I'll just back on these quickly. He done me a Christmas deal on these and gave me the lot for a tenner. I was absolutely chuffed. Absolute bargain. I mean, you can't argue with that. But yeah, to the notes. And this is actually from a different stall. And it was a chap I've not seen there before. Um, and he had a few bits and pieces. He had some coins as well, but nothing that grabbed me. He didn't have quite the selection that the normal guy had. But he had a, a thing of notes. This one was separate, actually. And they were, he had a pound each on them. And he had a thing of notes, and they were all curled up in this thing. I took them out, and I was having a look through them. I said, how, how much do you want for these? I said, I don't really want all of them, but I'd have a couple. He said, I was thinking like four quid for the lot. And I looked through it and I said, you know what, chuck one of those in as well. He had a pound on these. I said, chuck one of them in as well and I'll give you four quid for the lot. And I'll tell you what, it was a win. Um, we got two just American dollars. Just nothing special as far as I know. Any of the American viewers out there can let us know. A pretty ropey condition and just additional ones in there really um, nothing special at all two dollars there now this i think pretty much pays for the lot on its own and it's not a note i've seen before and it's a cypriot 50 cent and you can see the greek writing there and the turkish writing on the top and it's in Pretty decent condition, you know. It's got some folds in it, but with a bit of help to flatten it out, I'm 
sure it'd be lovely. And when I looked it up online, um, the cheapest buy now for, for one of these is six quid for this. I think you could safely say it's worth three or four quid at a minimum. So I think that's pretty much paid for the whole lot of notes there, to be honest. Um, and next up, we've got one that we've seen before. If you'll have watched my European banknote collection video where I showed every European banknote I've got so far. But this is undoubtedly an upgrade on the one we have in the collection. So that'll be going in, the other one will be coming out. And uh, yeah, definitely winning there. And we've got another one as well, which I think even that's probably in better condition than the one we've got. Because the one we've got is very ropey. So definite upgrade there. Very happy with that. And next up is another Greek upgrade. Because the one we've got of this is absolutely dreadful. But this is a lovely little note here. And I have been through what all this these are before. Um, so if you're interested in that and didn't see the video, go and check it out. My my bank note collection, the European part, and and another two of those. In fact, that one's got a bit of writing on it, and that one's just in ropey condition, but again, still much better than the one I had. Some have written forty on it, so we'll see what we can do with them. They're going the trade pile, really. Or maybe we'll put like a notes bundle giveaway together. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've still got that other giveaway to give away yet. Remember to go and comment on that one if you've not done it. And then there was a load of these. 1,000 Turkish Lirasi. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four in pretty decent condition. A couple better than the, the others. And they're three bit ropey ones. But even though you selling for a little bit on uh, on eBay you know pound or two pound each so I mean this was a complete win this this note lot and we see the what was this chap's name Kemil Ataturk and he was the founding father of modern-day Turkey first president from 1923 till his death and it is on all three of the notes we've got another two denominations of Turkish Larasi as well and on the back here, we see Mehmed the Conqueror. He was an Ottoman Sultan in the 15th century. And then there was a 5,000, in fact, two 5,000s. Again, Kemal Ataturk there. So on the reverse of the uh, 5,000, we've got a thermal power station, allegedly. And that provides the districts of Afsin and Elbistan in Turkey. Or it certainly did anyway. These notes are obviously a bit older. And then finally, a 10,000 lira, or lirasi even. Very cool design. So nice three different, different designs there. And on the reverse of this one, we have um, Mimar Sinan who was an Ottoman architect, and the Sel Selamai Mosque, built between 1568 and 1575, which is still considered a, a marvel of architecture, that, for its time, for sure. And then just to finish it off, we have one of these hyperinflation German mark notes. And we have, again, seen a different type of this, a different denomination at least, in the uh, European banknote video. Um, but yeah, this is obviously after the Second World War. Sorry, what am I talking about? After the First World War. Um, and this is a few years after, 1922. Um, and this is really the start of the hyperinflation. Over the next couple of years, it really, really got bad um, in Germany. To a point where they actually issued a note um, five trillion mark was the highest they ended up getting to but yeah four quid for all those notes I think that's probably worth about that on its own and then a tenner for the coins and I think that's probably worth more than that on its own so 
I need to be getting down there more often and I need some more money in my pocket to go and do it. And I've got to wait now for a month or so. Never mind, we'll get back down there. Thanks for watching everybody. Sorry if the dog was snoring at the beginning there. He's quietened down a bit now. Uh, maybe we'll get him in one of the videos soon if, if you want to see what he looks like. Um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed, hit that button. More videos to watch over there. All that stuff. See you next time.